But it's just gonna be for anybody who's having any noises in their rear end. So anything that sounds like this, we're gonna be going over ways to uh, diagnose that. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get the bike up in the air a little bit. Um, for my purposes, I've, I have a little makeshift stand here. Um, you can use a couple blocks of wood, some books, just anything to get the tires off the ground. Next thing you're gonna need are some tools. You're gonna to need a flathead screwdriver, a 15 millimeter socket wrench, a five millimeter Allen wrench, a three millimeter Allen wrench, a 10 millimeter box wrench, and some sort of straight edge, uh, approximately three to four inches long. Doesn't really matter what it is, just as long as it's got a nice flat straight edge on it. So again, if you're having these noises, the first thing we're gonna look at is the tension on the chains. So if you rotate the wheel as you're tapping on the chain, you'll see that our chain is incredibly tight. Same thing with our drive chain. So that already is a possible uh, cause of our noises here. But we can. there's also another thing we wanna check. We wanna check the sprockets here. So if you take your flat edge and you put it on the edge of the black sprocket, you'll see here that we are pretty drastically out of alignment. So the first thing we wanna do is find our silver bolt inside here, connect it to the black sprocket. Take your five millimeter, we're gonna loosen that up a little bit. With that bolt loose, you should be able to move your black sprocket. What you wanna do is take your straight edge, put it on the edge the surface of the black sprocket, bring it over till it touches the face of the silver sprocket, and that will put you in line. With that being done, you can tighten up the set bolt on your black sprocket. And now we know our sprockets are in line. So the bike's a little quieter, but our chain is still a little bit tight, and our drive chain is a little bit tight. So the next thing we're gonna to wanna to look at is tension on the chain. Start by loosening up your torque arm a little bit. Use your five millimeter Allen wrench and your 10 millimeter box wrench. I'm just gonna loosen these up a little bit to let the cassette move around. We'll take our 15 millimeter socket and I'll loosen the cassette a little bit on the sides. Then, as we rotate our wheel around, we can crack the tension arms in the back a little bit looser. Keep rotating it around and keep checking. So we'll see that we have gotten a little bit more freer here. It's gonna be a little bit back and forth. But once you have the right amount set, and you have your sprockets in line, you can go ahead and start tightening everything down. You're gonna start with your torque arm. Tighten this back up. Then we can tighten the cassette back down. Okay, another way to do uh, check for your, some of your noises here to see where it's at is if you get your flat head you've got your master link on this side there's a retaining link on it or a retaining plate on it if you push the open end of it towards the center pin it'll pop off okay and then you have your face plate you take your face plate off And then we can remove our master link. Master link off, we can take the chain and then we can rotate the drive side freely. So had you hearing any ticking or popping in this, in this area right now, this would signify a bearing issue probably. Since we're pretty quiet here, we can go ahead and put our chain back on and move on to the next step. And when we put the chain back on, we're just going to lay it across the sprocket, keep the open end kind of up top, it'll help you. Get your master link, slide it back in, face plate goes on this side, the retaining lock, you want to keep the open end facing back away from the bike, 
the solid end is going to be going the direction of chain travels chain travels this way so we're going to put this on this way so lay this over your first ring and if you hold it back in place you can pry the clip over squeeze it together push it on and you'll hear the little pop and we're good now if through any of this you're still having clicking and popping which we don't really have anymore um, if you were still hearing these noises it would probably be a bearing noise which is going to be one of your inner bearings on this side or on this side that would be noticeable by a small tick um, as you rotated the wheel another way to tell is this is the drive wheel if you rotate the free wheel and you're still hearing that noise that's another way to tell that it could be one of the bearings on this side versus this side but like I said in our case we've got everything straight we've adjusted our chain tension and there is no more noise so this one is good to go. Hopefully this helps you determine any noises your bike might have.